black owned. It's about business, our business, our culture, creating legacies. See us, hear us, support the movement. We are black owned. I'm mystified with black owned reporting. I am here with Tia of Arame Creations. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we started black owned reporting in the midst of COVID. With okay. everything going on, you know, it had a big impact on the economy. So everything shut down. Absolutely. So we wanted to show small businesses that we still care. The videos on this channel focus mostly on small businesses and highlighting their struggles as well as some of their accomplishments. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we're gonna start off with you introducing yourself to the people. Okay, hello. My name is Tia Jones. Um, I'm the founder of Aramaze Creations, started in November 2019. <laughs> 2019. So what would you say is your biggest accomplishment so far? Um, so far, especially being so new in the business, was doing the event with PPC in Delaware August 22nd. That was like a big... Okay, all right. <laughs> you're moving, you're moving. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know it takes people a lot of time to get to some of these uh, places. I have plenty of friends who are creative and, you know, uh, do things in this type of realm. And it's taken them two, three years before they've gotten to a pop-up or a vending event or so. Mm -hmm. So it was like, wow, okay, I made it. <laughs> But um, that so far was my biggest accomplishment. What does it mean to you that you are your own boss? It means a lot. Um, I do have a quote unquote nine to five. So being my own boss with this company, it's like, it's tiring. <laughs> <laughs> I love that word. It's tiring. very, it, it is. And you hear lots of people who are uh, self-employed entrepreneurs talk about the rewards of it, which are really great. I love to see people's reactions when they receive their wreath. Um, you know, I've had people tell me, oh my God, this is beautiful. Thank you. I really needed this. But I can tell you for Christmas, or should I say Thanksgiving into Christmas, and a two week span, I made 17 weeks. 17? Yes. And it normally takes about two weeks for me to make one reef. So you could imagine about a two week, three week span, I made 17 reefs. I was up till two, three, four o'clock in the morning almost every night. Glitter all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> There's still glitter on my couch from Christmas. Oh my so <laughs> <laughs> I'm like looking really hard now, like, oh my it's god, like you can't, you cannot lint roll, brush that stuff out enough. So I um, <laughs> had so many uh conversations with my fiance because <laughs> he goes to work with glitter on him. It's like a glitter bomb. <laughs> yes, <laughs> everywhere. Absolutely. So it's, I mean, the rewards are great, but it is a lot of work and it is tiring, and you pretty much played every role. I am the creator, the maker, the um, the manager as far as uh, money and things like that go. I do have a project manager who's standing in the corner. <laughs> so, you know, it's a team effort. It's a team <laughs> effort. You know, when it was time to get ready and pack up for Delaware, I didn't have to do anything other than pack my reefs. And get in the car so i'm blessed for that um yeah it's 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 crazy <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna switch gears a little bit and we're gonna talk more about your business now okay so what walk me through your process like what what do you like i need to make a reef what am i gonna do like walk me through this process the process it really depends i don't really like to make a reef and then say hey I was like, oh, you know, can I do this? Let me see. You know, then I'll try and 
you know, work it out. And YouTube University is awesome <laughs> because this pumpkin right here, <laughs> I saw the frame in the store and I was like, mm, I don't know if I can make that, you know, how would you get that on there? And I bought the stuff and I tried and I was like, this isn't working. So I went on YouTube and I was like, I know this isn't going to pop up. And sure enough, someone had did it. And I took a little bit of what they did and then my own thing. And I made, you know, my pumpkin, my great pumpkin. Even to my Diana Ross, I really did not have any direction of what I was going to do with her. I just wanted to know how to paint a foam head. And once I painted her, I was like, she needs a lot of hair. <laughs> and so that's how that worked. Um, a lot of the small ones, the, the round ones, you know, fairly easy to, mm -hmm. you know, come to. It's more for me, like, just color coordination. So the process is a little bit all over the place. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a you know, like a... It's like organized chaos. Yes. <laughs> I get it. I totally yes. get it. <laughs> it. It just reminds me of my old boss. Like, she used to have papers all over her desk. And you go in there and say, hey, I need this paper. And she's like, okay, here you go. How? <laughs> Organized chaos. Yes. So that's how it goes. So let's say I want to order a wreath. Mm -hmm. Where can I find you? I am on Instagram at Aramay Creations. The S had to drop off from Aramay's. All right. So how do you feel like your friends have supported you through your business endeavor? So definitely a lot of my friends have shouted me out um, on Facebook, especially in November to Christmas. They was like, yeah, go to this. I was like, no, Facebook, that's my personal. Selling it Instagram. <laughs> so that was a big transition. Um, a lot of my friends have bought wreaths from me. So I was shipping wreaths to Georgia, to North Carolina. One girl, she drove up here from Baltimore. It's like, I'll come get my wreath. Um, and that's basically how the business started. My girlfriend sent me a picture. She's like, I know you're a creator. Can you do this? And I was like, hmm, let me see. And that's how it started. <laughs> I was like, give me a week and I call you back. And that's how we got started. Um, and just, you know, inviting me to things. They know I like to decorate. So whenever they have an event or so, they're like, hey, you think you could come and just like throw some balloons on the wall or do this? And I'm like, well, that's not technically how it goes, but okay, let me, we'll have a discussion. Let's see what you're talking about. You'll, you'll make it work. You can make it work. <laughs> yeah, so I got that all at work uh, last year and the year before. It's like, hey, we're having an event, so we need you to come down here and decorate. What do you have? We have streamers. <laughs> I think it makes sense. <laughs> so it's time for my favorite part of the segment. <laughs> okay. It's time for shameless plugs. Shameless so you gotta plugs. shamelessly plug it up. Okay, awesome. Aramaze Creations is basically exactly what it says. I like to create a lot of things. That includes wreaths, mannequin heads for centerpieces or just you know a piece that you have in your house. I like to paint. I can't drill for anything, but <laughs> I love to paint. I love to decorate. One of my biggest things was doing Christmas trees. So Christmas comes around, so ornaments come out. They're all over the place. So Aramaze Creations is not just a catchy name. It truly is what that means. I like to be creative and try new things and do all things when possible. Because I was just about to tell you, I'm like, when you become bigger and better and, you know, you finally do this event planning, which I'm patiently waiting for, so you can do these centerpieces. You see, I'm speaking your blessings into existence, Thank okay? you. I appreciate you do that. do these centerpieces, and then, you know, you can create this whole conglomerate. You got to give us, you got to come back and give us another interview. Oh, listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready. You got to know when you're ready. I'm ready, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> so, again, so if I wanted to, let's say I want to get a read from you, right? Uh, is it mainly through the Instagram and the phone number, or... Is it some other way? Um, right now, it's mainly through Instagram and the phone number, you know, the business cards. A lot of my customers, I've gotten from word of mouth, you know, from friends and cousins on Facebook. You know, they let their, their friends know. They'll post up some pictures that I post up and, you know, they'll pass it around. 
but right now yes just through instagram and a phone number i'm working on it <laughs> drop the instagram one more time for me please so it's at arame a-r-i-m-e creations with an s-f-a at instagram so do you have any final words for the people call me <laughs> <laughs> okay so if you guys like this video, make sure that you guys like and you comment and you subscribe. If you have anyone that you feel as though we should interview, just drop it in the comments below. I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining.